Hi, this is Stephen Brower from Martin Valley Community College. Um, this is for CSIT 256 Computer Architecture and Assembly Language, and it's an overview of Stallings Chapter 9. Um, the number of the topics that are in this chapter are a repeat of Irvine Chapter 1, um, which is also the first week of the course. So it may seem like a lot seeing you know both of the chapters, but there's sort of an intersect between them. And what the Stallings Chapter 9 um, looks at is, oh, by the way, there's a section on fractions, and we're skipping over that until later in the course. So we're focusing on just integers right now. Um, but a reminder what the decimal system is, you know, base 10. We'll look at the binary system, uh, base 2. We'll also look at hexadecimal notation, uh, base 16. And then we'll look at doing various conversions between uh, decimal to binary, binary to decimal, binary to hex, hex to binary. Um, in terms of what Stallings does for going from decimal to binary, he uses this upside down long division, um, which, whoops, wrong one, <laughs> which is um, um, this method here, which we'll see later in terms of that uh, depth of chapter nine. And um, one of the additional addendums I have is the um, largest power of two method. Um, and so it's a different approach than what the book uses in terms of being able to do the calculations. Uh, when we're verifying our work in terms of being on the computer itself, um, if we take this is the calculator that's in Windows, and if I change it to programmer mode, when I change it to programmer mode, I actually can see. Um, so if I put in, you know, 137, then I can see there's the underlying binary, there's the underlying hex for the same number. So it's a way of sort of double checking our work. Um, the reason or the practicality to all this, um, initially we're going to be seeing uh, register dumps for uh, assembly language, and those register dumps are going to be in hexadecimal. And we need to then be able to take that hex and translate it into decimal. Um, and in some cases, we actually need to consider the underlying binary uh, in terms of validating the results. Uh, again, this is an um, overlap of Irvine Chapter 1, um, focusing on uh, number systems.